So, so we look at these swings now. And the left hand one is kind of your after, but it's a shorter swing, but it's really kind of focusing more on the takeaway and getting that club kind of back in front. The right hand one being kind of your before, as that club goes back here now, that club already here now is at the screen. Your hands are kind of level with your thigh and the shaft now is in this position way behind. And to do that, your forearms have had to kind of rotate and twist to get the club back there. You can't, you can't drag your arms behind you here. So the hands being by your kind of right thigh, for the club to be pointing that way, your forearms have got to be doing that. So your thumbs pointing this way. And because of that, the only way that club can now square up is a lot of that on the way through. Well, doing that in the golf swing, <laughs> your timing's got to be impeccable. If it's not good enough, it's way right or very good or a big hook left. One of those three. When it's good, it's very good. When it's bad, it's like, oh God, I miss it there. It's left, right and centre, okay? So we're looking for now, is that club to be working more in front of you, yeah? So the club now at this point is kind of over your toe line more. Then you're going to start hinging. It's obviously a smaller swing, but you can see even with a smaller swing, as you come back down to the pre-hit position there, this sort of checkpoint when your arm is kind of parallel to target line, we're looking for the club shaft to be through your forearm, which you can see there now, it perfectly is. Okay, if I go back a frame or two, you see that club now work on that blue line and unhinging back to that blue line perfectly. Hands are nicely in front with the correct shaft lean. Good strike of the golf ball, ball in the screen and sort of swinging through with just like an absolute fizzer straight to target, okay? Whereas this one here where the club's got too far behind you, the hands are now disappearing way, way behind your head and your neck kind of in a sort of distorted position as you come back here now that club now is a bit underneath your forearm coming from too far in this direction which can cause either that direction that direction or if you time it well a good shot yeah. but it's just relying so much on timing as you get better you get better at timing it so your good shots get progressively better but your bad shots get kind of progressively worse it's like bloody hell so you make I know, a few pars and a couple of eights and nines get chucked in there for no real reason rather than the club kind of working this way your club was kind of working <laughs> too much around a corner. It was, just, it was just too inconsistent, really, for your swing. And when you try these lower shots, you'd really struggle, yeah? So you want to play a lower shot, change the club potentially, move the ball back. It's hands forward with the shaft leaning, not just pushing the hands forward with the face wide open, okay? There's a difference between that and that's more kind of controlling with the wrist this way. But if you do that on the way back, <laughs> it's a lot that on the way through, yeah? It's just yeah. too much. That kind of makes sense then, yeah? yeah? Good. So you work on those different things. Again, I don't know if you've got one down at Coil, these things, but I'm sure you can find a sim either do some practice over here or just hitting shots on the grass area, just hitting shots, maybe sort of hitting sort of towards like some trees or when you're on the golf course, just chuck some balls in the trees and just try and some balls under branches and just see what trajectory you can get with a seven, a five, with the ball back in. What's the feeling of my hands here and there and do all these different things. Just play about with it. Be a bit more aware of what the golf club can and can't do. And then when you're on the golf course, if you've had these different shots you've practised, you've kind of got more tools at your disposal to hit. Okay, I get that one, I get that one, and so on and so forth. Not just like, oh, I'm in the trees, I'll just chip it out 10 yards forward and oh, I'm in the trees till I get now. It's giving you more options, yeah? Yeah. Make sense? Definitely. Excellent, good man.